body kick by Sundell. Yeah, just like Rich spoke about on the keys, Samila will keep an impressive pace the entire fight. And this is typically where Alicia Helen Rodriguez is a slow starter. She likes to feel out her opponents and build as the fight goes on. Samila Sundell plans on not giving her that opportunity. Sundell, 11 fight unbeaten streak. Oh. Yeah, Sundell's, Sundell's stepping in on these punches. Like, she's not using that range. You see her get caught with a hook there. She's coming in. And this is unnecessary punishment that she needs to take if she continues to make that smart approach with using the length of her arms. I can use the uppercuts coming from Sindel. For Rodriguez, she's coming off a unanimous decision win over Janet Todd. One fight night, eight in March. Good left hook by Rodriguez. Some knees now on the inside by Sindel. Rodriguez is landing. You see that hematoma over the top of uh, Sundell's right eye there. Goes from that left hook that landed moments ago, Rich. Another left hook that connected, and a right hand that blocked Sundell. Yeah, Rodriguez is landing some serious shots, especially inside that close range, coming over the top of that guard with her left hand. Not only is she landing serious shots, but she's taking quite a few shots from Sundell and, and being undeterred. Sharp elbow on the inside. Two big elbows, another one. Look at this work rate by both women. Sundell undeterred as she's coming forward. This is uh, not typical of Rodriguez. I think she heard me say she needed to start fast. Yeah, she's matching the pace of Sun you know, Sundell, so she's not, you know, accommodating her as far as with that slow start. She's keeping up with the pace that Sundell's setting and doing damage in the process. So yeah, there is that big hematoma over the right eye of Smila Sundell, and then she just ate a right elbow at close distance from the Brazilian. We've seen Sundell do good work in the clinch, and that was actually one of my uh, keys with her height and leverage is that I thought the clinch would be an advantageous to her. And we're seeing her get worked by Rodriguez in this clinch here. I like this left hook to the body, too, that Rodriguez is throwing. He's underneath the elbow, boom, just touching her. She's doing a good job with that left hook coming upstairs to the clinch, working an elbow, then retreat, retreating back to the hands again. Kind of let go. She's flowing in and out of the clinch, Rodriguez is. Real well. Rodriguez loves and throws elbows with venomous-like intentions. Nearing the end of the first round. Oh, 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 oh. By Sundell, that rock, Rodriguez! Oh, my goodness! Sundell wobbled Rodriguez with that left Rodriguez is hanging on for dear life right there. Wow, talk about a momentum swing at the end of the round. I'm just gonna remind everybody, this is a five rounder too, this isn't three. We got times. Landed by Sundell, had to shift the round in her favor. Seconds out now, please. I actually had that round more heavy for Rodriguez prior to Sundell landing that combination, and that would have shifted it in her direction, perhaps. Well, off we go, and you see Sundell trying to take the center of the circle. Well, one thing I love about Sundell's style is that she's undeterred. She'll, she'll continue coming forward. Ooh, putting mean hand combinations together. A massive flurry to begin for Sundell in the second round. Sundell's trying to get her out of there in the second. Sensing the end might be near for the Adam Wade champ. Well, this is a smart, this is a smart uh, strategy by Sundell because Sundell typically can and has run that kind of pace. You know, she won't punch herself out. Rodriguez going backwards. She just ate a right, followed by a left hook to the body. But she retaliates with a body kick. Rodriguez is tough though, she's holding her ground well. Not backing down too much. A left hook connecting for Sundell. An overhand right for Rodriguez. 
Look at this action. You are getting it here at one championship home of the world's greatest martial artist. That right hand's getting through the guard of Rodriguez as she continues to walk forward right into some big shots from Sundell. Sundell's got to get that guard tied and she's taking just unnecessary punches that she doesn't need. That's those leverage points I was talking about in the clinch. That height that she has makes it much easier for her to bend over and fold some, uh, Rodriguez's body. Yeah. And the referee in charge gets out of Bantu, separates them, and back they go. Faiten with the push kicks to utilize the jab to close the distance. Rodriguez ties her up inside the clinch as they exchange knees. Sundell trying to swim in, but Alicia Helen Rodriguez is strong inside that clinch, Rich. Yeah, and going back to the comment that you made, Mitch, about Rodriguez being able to pick up that pace as she goes, if she's able to work through this second round in this pace with Sundell, keep in mind that Rodriguez is pushing a good pace, and if she's going to classically be able to pick herself up, and she caught Sundell there. And with an elbow, she's known for that right elbow, is Alicia Helen Rodriguez. But Sundell keeps coming forward. A left hook that tagged Rodriguez. Wow, if this match doesn't get a bonus at the end, Mitch, if you're not saying $50,000 <laughs> at the end of this one, I don't know what's going on. What a battle inside the one circle. What? Elbows yeah. on the inside by Sundell. I'm not sure why they broke that up there. Sundell was landing effective elbows. Sensational work from both women here tonight. Final moments of the second. Rodriguez's clinch is so effective, it doesn't allow Sundell to swim in and get control of the plum. Oh. That was a good second round. Rodriguez coming out of that, that round. Second. Rodriguez coming out of that round looking a little tired as she approaches her stool. Well, she's pushing a pace that she's not typically used to doing, right? She usually gives away the first couple. Sundell working inside the clinch. That was a beautiful knee. She's got just some elements that kind of remind me of Rehi and Ersol. How she's a long, tall fighter, but she closes the distance and works inside so well. There's another big knee inside that clinch, doing good work in that close range. Round three between the champions, Mila Sundell and the NWA world champion, Alicia Helen Rodriguez. You can see a definite strategy change here for Alicia Helen Rodriguez coming out this round because she immediately stepped forward trying to take the center of that ring and push Sundell back. Some knees on the inside, an elbow for Sundell, followed by a knee. Rodriguez doesn't want any part of those hands, and she's smothering Sundell. But now Sundell's got the inside, and she realizes the elbows well as she touches her with the left. Big left hook. That wobbled Rodriguez. That left hook has been money all night. Well, she hurt Rodriguez at the end of the first with it. Sundell's doing a good job in the clinch here of mixing those elbows and then releasing and coming up with the uppercuts. Rodriguez seems very intent on engaging in that clinch. Doesn't want anything. She's walking through the hands, keeping her guard, trying to be tight, and just relentlessly attacking that clinch. Yeah, she's, she's literally walking through those hands, taking shots as she's coming to the inside. Some knees on the what? inside by Sundell. Inside of Pontu separates them, and off they go again. The corner of Rodriguez has to see something in the clinch, because. That is the M.O. for this third round. Yeah, that seems to be the only M.O. for this third round. She was effective, but, I mean, you can see the adjustment that Sundell has kind of made to it. She's utilizing the elbows a lot more. She likes that, that spear elbow that she just comes in with. Good hand combinations. 
utilizing the knees quite well, dominating inside the clinch, but Alicia Rod Helen Rodriguez continues to look for that clinch. Well, Rodriguez, as she came forward, she ate a left elbow from Smila Sundell. Smila Sundell is doing a much better job in this round of creating that space, landing the knees. She can hit you from a variety of different angles and a variety of different ways can the champion from Sweden, the youngest world champion in one history, Smila Sundell. And it looks like Sundell is picking up momentum as the Adam Weight champion is slowly beginning to fade, Rich. Yeah, I think I think Rodriguez came out with that pace in the first, first two rounds. And big knee there by Ooh, Sundell, another wow. one. She is rocking Rodriguez. This is the first time we've seen Sundell what? actually really control, like plumb clinch the back of Rodriguez's head and be, and be able to really fold it down and land those effective knees. And now we got hands and elbows coming in. 10 seconds ball from body. Those oh, body wow. shots. Oh, Sundell in a rain punches. And this one is over. Wow. The first successful defense for the youngest one world champion. Póngame de cuatro pachichanos en el PH, nos emborrachamos. A que el bombito tan rico nos echamos. Cuando no quiero estar solita, nos juntamos. Ajá, así que te dejo probar lo que quieras. Solo por una. Was presented to you by Monster Energy. And now to present the belt for this match, we have the chairman and CEO of One Championship, Mr. Tatri Sitjodong. And joining him, Governor of Tourism Authority of Thailand, Ms. Tapani Kat Aibul. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Kitsara Pontu, has called a stop to this contest after two minutes and 58 seconds in the third round for your winner by way of technical knockout and still undisputed one strong weight Muay Thai champion of the world, Smitha Chuyển động cùng Võ Việt.